Hey, I'm Gareth from Bar Cameras, and today we've got the Panasonic Leica 200mm f2.8 lens, which comes with the 1.4x converter. Now, we've got it here with the G9, which is the micro four thirds camera. So, that 200mm is actually giving us a full frame equivalent of 400 millimeters and with that 1.4 times converter we're actually getting 560 millimeters in this system now that's perfect for things like wildlife and sports so that's what we're going to test out today we're going to try and get some wildlife stuff maybe some sports stuff and some bikers riding around we've come out to the the wilds of sussex so we're going to try and get some wildlife shots i'm sure we'll get at least one picture of a seagull because you know there's loads of them and I don't know what other birds we're going to find, but we're going to have a look. But just to begin with, the size of this, I mean, look at that. It's 560 millimeters, one-handed. And we're going to get into it in a bit, but I've had a bit of a play with the image stabilization on here. It is incredible shooting handheld 560 millimeters, totally doable. So let's head out and see what we can get. So I normally start by talking about the image quality from the lens itself. But in this case, I want to talk about the actual lens itself, the construction, the feel of it, because it's such a big part of what makes this lens awesome. Now, the actual lens itself is a full metal construction, so it feels like a premium product. It's solid, it feels good in the hands. It's got this tripod mount on it as well, so you can mount it to the tripod that way. That's kind of an easier way for the center of gravity that way. But it's actually not that heavy. It's really not that big or heavy. Now, and that's partly the beauty of the Micro Four Third system. Now, I know that a lot of people wouldn't necessarily think of the Micro Four Third system when it comes to wildlife or sport, but actually there's some huge advantages to using it for that. So obviously it's a 200 millimeter lens, giving you the effective focal length for 400 millimeter length with uh, full frame equivalent. And then you've got the 1.4 times converter on there as well, giving you 560 millimeters. And the actual size of the lens when it comes to 560 millimeter system is incredibly reasonable. It's a one hand system. I've been able to hold it one hand on the body, one hand on the lens all afternoon. That's been no problem at all. And in terms of shooting, I've brought my big tripod that I would normally bring for shooting wildlife with long lenses and stuff like that. I've not used it once. I've been shooting completely handheld with great results. And that actually goes so far as for video as well. I've been able to shoot handheld video at 560 millimeters something i would never have considered doing before today and i've been able to do it successfully on this camera another reason i've been able to do that sort of thing is the image stabilization in the lens it has made a huge difference while i've been shooting it is not just noticeable it is completely transformed the way i've been shooting having that switched on on the side of the lens has been a game changer while shooting, especially at 560 millimeters. I haven't had really any shake. It wasn't giving me any issues at all. And that worked so well in both stills and video. Combined with the image stabilization in the G9, that has been mind blowing. The lens itself has a nice wide focus ring. It's actually focused by wire, but actually it's probably the one of the best focused by wire systems that I've used. It's also an aperture ring on the lens as well, which is always a nice touch, I think. And it just gives you a way to control the aperture on the lens, especially if you're shooting and you don't want to be fiddling around here. You can just control it here. Very, very easy. But let's talk about the image quality of the lens. Now, even shooting wide open at f2.8, this lens is super sharp. It is just incredibly sharp and stopping down to f4 just gives you that extra bit of sharpness, especially around the edges. Now, when you have the converter on, the 1.4 times converter, it's actually still really impressive how sharp that image is able to be. The bokeh is also super smooth. It looks great. Obviously, at this length, it's easy to compress the background, but it really does look fantastic. It's also worth noting that the autofocus is nice and fast. That's not been giving me any problems at all. And as I mentioned before, the image stabilization on this lens is particularly noteworthy. It is probably the best image stabilization I have used at any point. Now this part is just subjective, but you also get a decent little bit of contrast with this lens. And I found the colors to be actually really pleasing. So ultimately to sum up, this lens is just amazing. I've been completely blown away using it out in the field today. 
I just, I did a bunch of research before shooting the video on what kind of shots to go for and what to expect from the lens, but I just never thought it would be this easy and this good to use handheld out and about. Now I'm used to big lenses. I've used a few 600 mils and that kind of thing, but I've always had to use a tripod, especially for shooting video, because otherwise it's just way too shaky. But this has just been incredible. Shooting handheld with this kind of focal length it's just crazy to me. And the fact that I've been able to do that, the fact I've been able to go out and just essentially run and gun a wildlife shoot, I just didn't think I'd be able to do that. And that has been the most freeing thing. I also, I'm not hurting in my shoulders or my back from carrying an incredibly heavy lens around. So that's a really nice thing as well. So I really can't recommend this enough for someone who wants to shoot wildlife or sports, especially with something like the G9. We've got that insane burst rate as well. So you've just got a really great system for that kind of stuff. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, pop them down in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. It's getting late and as much as it probably looks light in the camera, it's a little dark now. Um, I'm alone and I definitely heard something over there. Probably an animal. But uh, am I nervous? Yep. So probably wrap this up, won't I? Probably. It was cyclists, not murderers. Brilliant.